Ladies and gentlemen, Dark Side here, man. I'm back with another video, and today we're gonna do something a little bit heartbreaking, a little bit tear jerking. We're taking a look down memory lane when it comes to Undisputed, AKA ESBC. All right, y'all, so what do I have here for you, man? I got two trailers for you, two game trailers. This is gonna be the first one, which is from July 2021, I believe. Now we also have the vaunted February 2022 trailer, I believe, uh, that will be, I will be showcasing next, man. And what we're really doing here, we're just looking to see what was happening here and what, what we're seeing right now, right? What we're playing right now. What has deviated? What do they need to get back to? That's what I'm here showcasing, man. I, I know this is going to hurt. I know this is going to hurt. I'm going to see some stuff and be like, man, where did the good times go? Where did this go? Why is this not here? Why does this look different? I know it's going to be like that, but it must be done. So let's do it. It's All right, man, here we go. There's Ash. This video is our July development update. And a walkthrough. Man, y'all y'all remember these the know, good times, man. We were so we we're looking forward to every we'll little drop information we could get. Show you where we've got to. We haven't had one of these so in, in this so video, long. We're going to take you through a number of in-fight mechanics. We're going to talk about our launch plans. And yeah, this will be interesting. It's gonna be interesting, be interesting to go back and, and watch this and see what they was talking about now. We think you're going to like. I also want to say thank you to the boxes who agreed to be in this video. We oh my god, just see. look at that already. Like it's just the first frame. He didn't even say a word of importance yet. In this video. Let's go back. Like dog, like you can't tell me this doesn't look better. 1440 that joint. Like just look at this. You can't tell me this don't look better. I mean, Lyndon do got that clean gear in the game. He do, he do got that though. But it just looks like, what angle is this? This just looks good. Looks good. You got that vaunted uh, BPM uh, monitor joint, the adrenaline system type joint down here. That was never worked. I don't think it's ever worked in like practicality. It's probably never coming. It's probably been scrapped. I mean, just look at what the game could be like. Like, look at that, dog. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. Now, granted, if it looked like this right now, our PCs would probably explode due to optimization reasons. All right, so maybe, hey, maybe they got a reason not to give us this right now because our PCs would probably explode. Let's keep it a buck. Our PCs are probably, hey, I know for sure. You see both of mine back there? Hey, I'm gone. Hey, if, I, if I got graphics like this, I'm gone. You see all those, all those cables and wires I got back there? I'm cooked. I'm not going to lie. I'm cooked. But hey man, it might be worth it to play a game looking like this. It might be worth it. That'd be my last game though. This video, you'll be able to see the actual controllers in each of the corners. We've put this in there just so that you can see. I'm trying to see. Does the movement? Of the fight. The movement does not look as fast as what we have right now. I like. It had to have been slower. It just looks slower. There's just no way it's the same. I'm seeing smaller steps with the movement. It looks slower. I'm trying to. And we got the ghost ref in there. Same with Let's not even talk about ref in the ring. So putting all these and I'm I'm really gonna be talking over whoever's talking in this video a good portion of this because like we well, already heard this by this point now, right? I'm just telling you guys why well, this is about me. It ain't about them, it's about me. Big ego. Aspects anyway. We needed it to It just looked like the game just looks yeah, better here. Like exactly I'm, I'm gonna lie, everything just looks like better here. I'm sorry, it really just looks better. I, I, I wish I could say something different, but I just have to tell you what I see. It just looks better. And this is from 2021. It's 2024 right now. Kenny Bayless. So I'm sure you'll all be as pleased as we are. That was the that big Bayless announcement. A generic referee in our future videos. So Ethan, our gameplay programmer, will take you through. Big aimbot. But let's look at the controls real quick. Pretty sure everything is the same, right? Slips, clinch. Uh, yeah, everything looks to be the same still. I would assume. Movement, loose movement, body modifier, we yeah, everything's the same. Everything's the same here. The fight mechanics, please. Block movement, block movement. Do people even know that this is even in the game right now? The six axis blocking. Like, remember when that was supposed to be a big thing for the game, and literally they've never put it online. I mean, like honestly, that's something that's probably went under the radar for a lot of people. It's never been online. That's just so odd. Like they, they need to make it the standard, not uh, an afterthought. Even if they want to put it for ranked only or something, like, it needs to be in online play. The fact that's never been in online play, and they're talking about console release, it's actually it's kind of nuts. I'm not gonna lie. Not having a blocking mechanic online and talking about full release is kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. And it's not that's not even in the game. It's in the game. It's just not online. Just like the clinch. You know, I'm gonna get me started on that being ready. 
so the movement system is split into various states, allowing for full motion control. Right. Where pushing the analog stick all the way produces quick steps, and halfway has smaller steps. Now you can still do this in the game currently. It's I feel like you can do it, but it's not as fluent or intuitive as it should be. Like you can do it, but what is the point of doing smaller steps when your opponent is literally has ice ice skates attached to their feet and literally skating around uh the ring, you know what I mean? Like it's it would be one thing if the game was at a smaller pace where small steps actually mattered. When your opponent's in loose footwork literally going twenty miles per hour around the ring, why would you even use small steps? You know what I'm saying? So like if it is really a thing that it's I can't even tell if it's actually gonna be like useful or not. Because your opponent's just moving the entire time at like record breaking speeds. So why would you even use small steps? You'll never catch your opponent. Like stuff like this, like what would be the purpose of ever doing that in the game currently? You would never catch your opponent doing that. Because your opponent's just running around the ring, just dancing left and right. Why would you ever use small steps like that? So either A. The movement is way the movement speed is way too opportune right now, way too high, which I think it is and needs to be dropped. Actually, there is no B. It's just A. The movement speed needs to be dropped. Sorry. It won't just instantly float in the opposite direction. It just looks so much better, dog. I'm sorry. So we're really excited about this new feature that we've put into the movement system, and it's giving the player the ability to showboat and actually display some of the mannerisms that some of the marquee fighters will have. So Which was a good idea Roger's overall. Fight, this is the first time we saw about uh, we saw a loose movement. Might be able to do with a fighter like Floyd Jones Jr. or even Muhammad Ali. So it really opens up the possibilities. And look at Big Okoli. This is when Okoli. This is back when Okoli still could have been something, but now his stock went straight down. So what this does is it brings out the unique movements for the boxer. This is a combination. Okoli is actually really good in the game, though. Y'all don't know he's really good this in is game. Part of the boxer's personality. Some boxes will have more feints in their loose movement. Hey, look at the lighting and everything in the crowd. Like, I know it was on. It was on for this uh, for this trailer, but it just looks so good, man. We can only pray the full game will look something similar to this. This looks so good. Going from loose movement back into your normal stance and vice versa. This is something building out for some of our marquee fighters in the game, but overall, it adds another level of realism and tactics into the mix. And it would add more realism and tactics into the mix if it actually had cons. There needs to be higher vulnerability and loose footwork and loose movement. You need to feel like I can't put, turn this on at any time in the fight because if he hits me, I could get hit pretty badly. So let me be careful around when I use this and when I should turn it off. Because right now, people don't care about turning it on and off. It doesn't matter. There's no big enough con to say, well, maybe I should turn it off here instead of having it on. You they just flip the switch. If it's on, it's on. If it's off, it's off. It doesn't really matter to them. They don't care. So obviously, there's no really no big con there. Movement and dodging punches. Dodging punches will also be possible. Now look at like you can't even do that now. I mean, not really. Combining you really can't do that now. I'm not gonna lie. I've had so many interactions online. Not once have I ever seen anybody do anything close However, to that. This isn't a case of just initiating a dodge when you realize. Look at the jab. Look at the jab sticking them. Even the punch looks like it has more stick. Am I tweaking? And fight styles. Here you can see Lyndon Arthur dodging Look at that tracking punches. or lack of tracking. However, and look at look at the stumble early. animation. Big hit and he gets stumbled. You get yourself into trouble. Actually he got rock there. But look he's move look how he's moving when he's rock. Depending on which fight That's another play. thing. The marquee fighters will have a different So remember there were supposed to be different rock stages. Do y'all even feel that? I don't feel the rock stages. I don't see stumble animations from big shots a lot. I just see that one like Animation where like the head just snaps back and like oh my god it hurts you know type thing. I only see that one. I don't see no stumble animations, no different rock stages. I feel like when you're a rock, you really can't even fight back out of a rock state because there is no light rock state for the most part. Until like you get rocked, you're just you just cooked. You cannot throw back. Or you're going you're going down, which is an L as well. Activating the loose movement modifier will also change how your dodge will look, as you can see here. Is that a thing? It could be. It could be a thing. I don't know if I'm tweaking. I mean, I definitely haven't seen that dodge. Whatever that is, that's def that's definitely not in the game for sure. That's not in the game. Don't know where that went. Yeah. But that's definitely not in the game. Another move in the player's defensive arsenal is the ability to weave. 
This is activated by holding down the left trigger. And look at the weave. You can't do it like. Why does the weave look so much more fluid in in this 2021 game trailer? Like, look at the big shot. Like, look, he's getting hit with big shots. Like, where is it? Let's, let's look at this bar too. Let's, let's watch this down. This is activated by holding down the left trigger whilst moving the left stick in the direction All right. of the weave. So here you can see Lyndon Arthur. Good weaves. Alright, he throws more punches. Like, he gets, uh, gets cracked. Stam still going down. Gets cracked again. Like, this will be like, look, where, like, where is this at? That's some giant camera shakes, I will say. Oh, and you're gonna get cracked. Ha! Like, where is it? Like, these hit reactions, these hit stuns look so much better than what we have in game right now. Why is that? This is because the stamina has a big impact. Like, why? And it's happening way more when he's just winging shots and missing. Oh my goodness. Like, that was like a good knockdown animation. Hmm. Like, stuff like that. Like, bro, where did this stuff go? Y'all can go in the archive. Dig this up. Now slips, I imagine, gonna be more more the same as what we have right now. But they look, it looks that way. Probably why they didn't talk about it much. So the block system in the SBC has two options: fully manual, which is three points on the head. And we've never had this online. Never had this online. It's been over a year. Holding down the right trigger and moving the right stick. There's a semi-automatic mode as well, which will require you to block either the head or the body. We feel by having both of these options, players who want a deeper simulation can select the manual mode, whilst the yes, players who prefer yeah. the more arcade feel can select the semi-automatic mode instead. And that's fine if you would give us both options online, but we don't have both options. You leave the body head block for casual play, quick quick play and then you put a simulation in rank you do something like that if you want to split it that way or you just make the option for both and uh quick play and have the option for both and ranked i guess but i think it makes more sense to have just the simulation and ranked and then have both options in quick play in my opinion punching whilst blocking i don't know so why i read it in that uh in that voice but hey Whilst these punches aren't as powerful as throwing a punch without blocking, yeah, I feel like people don't even do this at all, honestly. I don't think people really even play. know that's in the game. I don't see people doing that at all. But that's definitely in the game right now. And flicking the right stick, selecting the desired punch. What camera angle is this, though? Man, these are good. It looks good, man. It just so looks combinations good. Combinations play a very important role in ESBC. Each fighter has a total of four. Look at the way the punches are snapping out, and just hitting you in different spots. Where I feel like we've lost a lot of that the nowadays. Where it's going from the head to the body, or whether it's stepping hey, away. Hey, hey, So combining this together had to feel satisfying. It had to be seamless, where you're able to pick any punch. I'm looking at the hit reactions from Mercol, and you can definitely tell there's still some of the same elements of what we have in the game right now, where like, it's not really a ton of uh, hit reaction from those punches that they just showed right there. So because flash Boy, like, look at this, though. Look how Linden looks in this, like... Bro, these graphics, like, they just look better. This is 2021, dog. It just looks better. So because flash knockdowns and one punch knockouts exist, even though Lennon look light skin here, really but, like, look at even the punch reactions. Even they look better. And you can't leave yourself open because if you do ah, so, there we should have we should have seen it all along, huh? Forward moving body, straight, you can't leave yourself open completely up short. So. Actually, it didn't really come up completely short, it extended a, a tiny bit, but definitely came up short. But it extended out there a little bit, it extended punch, out. Not into That's a forward moving one, I believe. And that reached like that reached. So, right now, I don't know, I don't know what was going on here. What, what we got, what we got now, but his jab, his right hook, his left hook. yeah, I do like a Coley in this game though. To the other fighters I do game. like a Coley in this game. So this is something we're focused on. He's very good at cruiserweight. Don't let that 80 overall fool you. He's very good at cruiserweight. To essentially create their own for their own fighters. Linden's okay too, but he needs more speed and a better job. Our main philosophies in the studio, which is innovation. One of the things we wanted to recreate in the SBC was the ability for a fighter. I look at that. You don't. You really just don't see this at all. 
Make him miss two punches and you hit him and now he's right. You don't see that in the game. Counter damage is so weak, I feel like. Right, right now damage in the game is like overly damage. Oh my goodness. Look, like you definitely don't see that. You definitely don't see that. Uh, what rock state did he go into? Why don't he just move around? He's stumbling a little bit, but he's still there. Bang! Caught him. Like, you don't see this really happen at all, if ever. And then you see the little adrenaline system stuff down here. That's, like I mentioned, it's probably gone. And this was the early version of career mode. Early career mode. Hold on, let's see what was on here that's no longer here. Everything the same? So I guess KO power is just the power punch modifier now. Uh, move speed, punch speed, agility. Yeah, that's all the same. I think all of these are mostly the same. I think injury resistance is like bruise resistance. I don't think that's in there no more. Uh, yeah, all the rest of these look pretty much the same. Discipline wasn't there. Um, yeah, I think most of these Korean were that we've introduced in the SBC. So this covers everything from health to stamina, conditioning. So most of this still remains, which we is good to see. We do have a couple of uh, interesting stats that haven't really been done before in combat sports. So we have a discipline stat and we also have yep. a confidence stat. Now, and unfortunately, both, both of those, both of those that they talked game, about that haven't been done before, still has not been done because those are not in the game. Like, what is this? Like, are we ever going to get this? Start developing an interactive career hub. Yeah, like, are, they, are we still doing that? Is that still a thing? To you about our development I hope so. And launch plans. We recently had some very exciting news regarding additional investment. This means mm. additional resources to focus Sounds on Sounds familiar, huh? possible until after early access. Now, we did have plans to launch early access this summer. Because of the massive expansion of the game, the roster, the expectations... I remember hearing this news. <laughs> I hope you stick stick to that. Stick to your gun. Stay true to that. Do not rush it. Do not rush what it. This means and I should mean even right now. Do not rush it. This window for this summer won't happen. Now I realize some of you will be disappointed by that. We also realize it's been 10 years since the last licensed boxing game, which has been frustrating for those of us who love boxing. Right. That's the right. primary reason this studio was created. That was the vision. What do, yeah. What we won't do is rush for short term success. Oh. That's not the kind of studio we are. Okay. We want to do this right. This mm. is why we're not going to announce a launch window. Mm. The next announcement on this topic will be a specific release date. I'm hoping you can see the progress we've made in this gameplay video and the passion for what we're trying to achieve. How much longer is this? I'm now going to hand you over to Todd Grisham. Oh, this is when Fury got announced. Waiting to tell you about oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to skip this part. This is just when Tyson Fury got announced. But, uh, man, man, I hope that last part that he just mentioned, I hope they stick to that. Hope they stick to that. Do not rush it. You know, a studio goals, right? Do it right. Do it right. So, hey, man, I hope you stick to that. So we need you to do it right or hey we're gonna get you right one way or another next video all right so now we have the next one this is from february 2022 let's see what we're talking about in this one i know that man's in this one that man Rackzilla. there he goes you might recognize me as rack rack where are you we're looking for you <laughs> no let me stop we haven't seen rack in a minute man i know it's because he's changed job title so he's no longer in the same position that he was when he was getting information like this, right? But you haven't heard from Rack in a minute, man. It would be good to hear from good old Rack uh, once again. I mean, we haven't had a round table in how long now? Like, how long has it been? Months? How many months has it been? I don't remember at this point, but, like, we haven't heard from these guys in a long time. We haven't heard from Rack in a long time, man. Let's see what Rack was talking about back here. Today we're gonna talk about what, what were we talking about, man? Inside fighting. Inside fighting, interesting. That's right. We're opening up with like, this dog, look at this. Like, Fury does not look like this. Walter does not look like this in game. Again, it just looks better. It just looks better. It just, it just looks better. Like, I, like I mentioned though, 
Would my PCs explode? Probably so. But it would have been worth it for that last game, right? That last game where you throw that one right hand with Walder and then you blow you blow up essentially. Because right now with optimization, you'd probably blow up, but that's okay. In the ring together in ESBC for the now this looks closer to what we have right now, though. It does. Here you can see we've got a variety of camera angles in the works. Now see, right now they're not moving as fast because they're just stepping around. That's more like what the game should should be. There's a close Boy, uh, Walder, one of them hugs. Huh, 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 huh. Now Walder, one of them things. That gives you a number of perspectives and it's over the shoulder inside the ring we'll continue to experiment and add more cameras to offer a variety of uh, that's a crazy camera angle that'd be good for like uh capturing footage for a video though when it comes to off now here off is the the famous inside fighting clip that everyone keeps asking for to return now sadly i think this is actually pretty similar to what we have honestly now I'll explain Another to you what I mean. To now you'll see both of them are right on each other, on the standing right, you know, head to head, basically, right there in the pocket. Now, what you might not, you know, I it is a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie. So it's a little bit different, but the base of what this is supposed to be is here, because two people are just standing right there in the pocket, trading punches. You don't see that online because you try to get into the pocket, people are getting out trying to escape. No one's standing in there trying to go back and forth really. So I don't think you would ever really see this ways implemented here anyways but this definitely is like looks like a cleaner implementation of inside fighting where you're getting like the head lean you're getting the uppercuts coming through cleaner you know what i mean hooks coming in back and right back to the guard like you really don't you really don't see that right now so i'm not sure if this i don't think it actually is the same still a work in progress but here's a glimpse of our first pass at fighting on the inside yeah it just looks it looks better as they get into close range combat all right. A physics system coming into play. Short hooks and uppercuts might land, or they could glance off an opponent. I love you, Rocky. Just cracking that man. Huh? <laughs> you really don't see that in the game currently. I don't think it's really implemented in a great way. Obviously, pressure fighting is god awful in this game. Uh, we're gonna skip this fighter announcement. That's when they announced Kell Brook. Let's go to punches. Look at look at big look at big sweet hands, man. Sweet hands. Kayla Plant. Caleb Plant and ESBC for the first and we haven't seen Caleb Plant since, huh? Next section. That was a quick section, huh? Fighters will tell you that where a shot lands can make a big difference in the same Critical zones. zones. You don't feel this at all in the game. Impact areas. And I, when I say at all, I don't notice this at all. Like one bit. Not a single bit do I notice this at all. So I don't know what's going on with the critical zones, but you literally can't tell where you get hit in the head. You don't know. You There is no indicator, no tell, no nothing. You can't tell in game. You don't feel like you hit somebody in a good spot in game. Yeah, so I really don't even feel it like, at all in game currently. Just to keep it honest. Have a reduced chance to cause serious damage where that big shot to the temple bang. Slip and bang. Well, Frotch looks good there, don't he? That's a good model of Frotch. I mean, Frost has a good model now. I'm just saying. Look at the way. Look at how. Look at how God he looked. Then I think that like they gotta get back to stuff like that. Look how he looked. That boy's getting cooked. Well, that boy got cooked by Kel Brook, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh my yeah. Oh, Frost and Plant. Do uppercuts look better there? Am I tweaking? Like, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 the punch sound sounded crazy, but look like, like this just looks good. Like, look at how Kyle Brook looks at, look how Kyle Brook look, looks in this game, in these, like, in these moments compared to what he looks like in the game right now. He looks crazy in this thing. punches. Mm. We've put significant effort into additional mm. capture to help get us there, and this will continue to be an area of focus of development. Power punches are now available shadow, shadow for boxing. every single punch type. Power jabs, straights, hooks, and uppercuts. It's all, yeah, all those punches he just mentioned. The only ones that are somewhat okay are power jabs and power crosses. Hooks are garbage. Power uppercuts are garbage. Basically, any, yeah, any power punch outside the cross and the straight, any non-straight power punch. Just, it's, it's trash. Keep it a bug. It's, it's horrible. Want to throw that power jab to slow an advancing opponent? 
now you can. Even some people's Maybe power you crosses were bad, to be honest. Big right hand to end the fight. It's up to you when to put a little something extra on your punches. Just make sure you don't. Are those power punches? Because those windups seem way better than what we got right now. I see way more fluid. about the process of scanning fighters. Like, look at this, bro. This looks good. And that's true. This looks crazy. We don't only rely on scans. Our team has worked out the finer Oh, there's that that patent step by uh Tyson Fury. Our team has worked out the finer details when it comes to visual fidelity. Dang. You can see individual muscles flexing. When punches are there's a muscle flex technology time, body and facial deformation when impactful punches land we believe these yeah his jaw was getting on hand <laughs> that's definitely deformation and it's important this game just looks so much better in these trailers i really don't know what what else to say it just you can just physically tell like it's easy to tell now this is just questions and answers right we don't really need to go through this do we i mean why not we can see what they're asking your questions about judging Hey, I'm interested to hear what this talks about because judging sucks right now, in my opinion. Especially as someone who's coming forward a lot, like a pressure fighter. It's terrible. Josh asks, how does the judging damage, man. They don't. It well, feels like they don't score damage. For a deep dive on judging today, but I can tell you that there will be a variety of outcomes at the end of fights. There are multiple yeah. judges. They may not see a fight the same way, so you'll have to be. Yeah, we know the judges don't see the fight the same way, but can we get any information on what certain judges look for or anything like that? You're like just a broad, like not even like specific stats, just like a broad view, like what they like more or something. So we can understand how some of these fights are judged when we end up getting robbed. You know what I'm saying? Be thoughtful about your game plan so you don't end up in a draw or on the wrong end of one of those in the last dev walkthrough. Our Control scheme. What else are they talking about? And then they just go back to the roster. So to I'll just mute this as they go through this roster. A great roster. Now the roster is definitely top tier. A plus roster so far. And they're only getting better so that's definitely a dub but uh when it comes to totality man y'all seen what i'm talking about y'all see it there's no there's no denying that some of this stuff looks better than what we have in game currently and what's been changed definitely takes away from what we saw in the trailers there's no denying that one way or another so all i'm asking from them is to look at the trailers look at the feedback we've been giving them try to get back to some of the stuff that they had in here get back to the graphical fidelity that was in here because it's definitely degraded now and just try to make the game the best it can be, man. Do not rush it. As he mentioned in that video, do not rush the process. If the game needs more time, please give it more time. Do not rush the full release of this game or this game is going to be cooked. With that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy.